what do you hope to to you know achieve in your future here? Anything in particular? <laughs> well, <laughs> if I if I had my way, and I had and this dog isn't mine technically. Uh, I mean, I've taken care of this dog for three and a half years since I've been on the dog. But if I had my way, I would take this dog and I'd go, I'd go up and live with the Indians on the reservation. You would. Herd sheep, but these up up there. They, really? They, they got a lifestyle that I've always admired. I mean, the traditional ones. So you're telling me that, that there, there are Indians up here that live, you know, traditionally? The Navajo, they're, you know, not all of them, but a lot of them. They, they, Herding sheep and, and making their rugs and you know their sand paintings and doing just when you say up here, where? north of Flagstaff North on the Flagstaff. Navajo reservation. North. It's it's a big. I think it's the biggest reservation in the United States. So when you say you'd live there, so can you live there? Like can a, can a can a white person live on a on a Indian reservation or not? I would I would as far as I know you could, especially in the cities. But now I know friends here. And I've almost done it myself. They'll, they'll go up to the reservation periodically and take food stuff and animal, dog food and this kind of thing and donate it and they'll, they'll help them fix things on their homes and stuff that they need help with. You know, because a lot of them, they're, they're really in poverty. So yeah. They've, so got, a, they've you, got a rough deal. So what stops you from doing that if that's what you want to do? Is uh, that easy enough to do? Just... Well... Part of it is, is my financial situation and just my overall situation and, and my vehicle situation. I mean, as we speak, my, my car's are shut. <laughs> I'm waiting, you know, I'm passing time until I go get it. But, uh, well, I hope you get there one day. Well, I've been up there. I've been up there and been through there. And like I say, these friends have gone up there and, you know, spoken of it and what they're doing. I've donated stuff. I just hadn't taken it up myself. But well, that, those terrific. people fascinate me. They just do. Really? Always have. Really? And the Aborigines, where you're from, too, those people yeah. fascinate me also. Yeah, yeah. Reading about them. There's probably a lot of similarity, actually. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Basics, yes. Yeah. yeah, there really is. Well, I really appreciate your time today. Yeah. It's great. Well, I appreciate you. talking to somebody from Australia. Yeah. Thank you Australia. very much. Australia. <laughs> God bless you. And, uh, Thank you, Grant. Hey, can I donate something towards some dog food for the pup? I wouldn't worry much about it. Yeah, no, no, I'd like to buy him some dog food, so please, <laughs> yeah, look after him for me. He looks well, a beautiful dog. Well,